Hey everybody, it is Friday, January 29th, 2021. How are you guys feeling still with the full moon and Leo going on? It is a fire sign. I'm loving this vibe. I'm loving this space. For those of you who joined the full moon and community ritual a couple days ago, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for holding me down as you always do. I'm so grateful for y'all. Um, but definitely we are moving things into motion because now we're going to be doing some things and shifting and we're going to be doing a car of the day because we need to remember who the fuck you are. Speaking of that, the webinar is tomorrow. Remember who the fuck you are. Webinar tomorrow, Saturday, January 30th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are at 90% capacity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to be talking about manifestation. We're going to be talking about my personal life and how I shift things around. You guys will not believe what the fuck I'm going to tell y'all tomorrow. I'm going to tell y'all tips and tricks, tricks and target points and all that kind of stuff. And yes, we're going to discuss a little bit about vision boards, mood boards, your devices. I'm going to show you everything that I do personally. Now, with that being said, we're going to be doing the card of the day, the focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit as always, you know, because again, this is not a reading, a reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition, because as I always say, your intuition is your superpower. And with that being said, everyone's born intuitive, not everyone listens to their intuition, as you can see with the state of the world. It's all about good vibes so with that being said let's see what they gotta say today and this is going to be coming from the angels and ancestors oracle card deck just just like that not one but two i'm loving this and literally the card there's two cards first card is called the night card be brave and honest and the second card, the air guardian. Shift your perception. I am loving, loving, loving this. What have I been saying to you guys for the last several fucking months? Be authentic. Be brave and be honest. People may not like what the fuck you got to say. People may not like your honesty, but they do have to respect it. And if you keep telling people that you're okay when you're really not okay, you are not being authentic. You are being inauthentic or in other words, fake. Because guess what? The more you keep telling people that you're okay when you're not okay, that gives them permission to dump on you and you be accessible to everybody else's energy. And as I always tell you, energy is contagious. Not only will it affect you, it can infect you like a virus. No pun intended. I've been saying that shit for years before the pandemic. But still, why are you giving people that access to you? You have to be brave and you have to be honest and walk in your truth. Walk in your supreme authority. Walk in your sovereignty. Walk into that space of mind and grace. But you can't do it if you keep pretending that you're okay when you're not okay. As a matter of fact, I put up a post earlier today on my insights page on Instagram and shared it to Twitter at Readings by Vida that I literally said it's okay to be a little bit fucked up and, you know, in the head. We all are, but it's what it's but it's bad when you're fucked up in your heart that's when you're a piece of shit so again there's nothing wrong with not being okay either like if you're not okay what why is that a bad thing like when people tell you good morning how are you i'm fine thank you no you're not why don't you say you're irritated or you're stressed out or you're just out of control guess what maybe if you tell them that that puts limitations on their conversation so they won't dump on you win-win for you and then shift your perception you have to be brave and honest and then shift the perception. Is this truly the life that you desire? What's happening right now? If it's not, what are you doing to make that shift to see things in a different way? So let's get into the description so we can get more into it. So the night card. The night card first says this. I literally felt like I already said what I had to say. Because <laughs> I literally feel I already channeled the message. But let's see what this got to say. Do the right thing even if it's not the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The knight is a knight in shining armor dedicated to the crown that a sword defends. In this sense, he's a protector of the Holy Grail and therefore of your spiritual growth and expansion. He represents the warrior in you. Whether you're male or female, the energy is within you. His word and his sword and armor shows that he's courageous and strong. But if you look closely, you will see he has a tear running down his face showing his willingness to be vulnerable and his love for what he protects vulnerability is not a weakness vulnerability is a sign of pure spiritual strength stop letting society fuck you up that your feelings are a bad thing it ain't do you know how chaotic that human society is that it's taught you that thinking is good and feelings that is bad something that you were born naturally to do and express is your feelings that a whole mode of modality of medicine was created so you can just talk about what you were born to do, feel. It's called therapy. 
that tells you how chaotic human society is now the energy of respect is important right now you're being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for if you're in a space where there's opposition you're being guided to follow through with this integrity because even if it seems that this will slow your progress your rewards will be much more abundant as long as you're honest with yourself and everyone else you're being surrounded by a light, a light of bravery to help you this all this card also brings justice if you're longing for justice please know that the universal energies are working to bring everything back into order and that you don't need to force anything through to make it happen with your will if you have made any mistakes recently it's important to take ownership of them so you can align yourself with improving the situation not making that shit worse and if you can feel the need to defend your spiritual path at this time back down and let it protect you spirit always got your back you let them handle it but again be honest with yourself and honest with everybody else. Welcome to your authenticity. And then the air guardian, shifting your perception. Like I said before, let's see what they have to say. Air guardian, change the way you think and you'll change your whole reality. There you go, confirmation. The air guardian represents the angels of the air element. Traditionally, air is all about thoughts, thinking and everything that has happening in the mind. So these angels can help you overcome any thoughts that have come back to haunt you from the past and to see the world more clearly. They are guiding you to change the way you think about current situations and this can be standing between you and your greatness. Stop thinking so much, stop feeling so much, stop being so out of it so much. Just trust yourself. When this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about your way of thinking you're being guided to recognize that all that you see is exactly the way you see it sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perceptions can be wrong if you're being challenged or feel there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at this moment there's a good chance that the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with the reality what you think is a vibration that a vibration goes out into the universe the universe mirrors that and brings back that same frequency so if you're constantly thinking that you don't have enough money then you will not have enough money if you're constantly thinking that men and women ain't shit in relationships and you can't trust them then you will always bring back that vibration of untrust with other people again what you think what you feel and what you say is a vibration is energetic it's been proven by science and you emit that frequency and it gets met, met, met back to at that same vibration. So be careful when, again, you have to understand that you understand this. You are being guided to open your eyes and your mind and to go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize that the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Confirmation. Opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will only open up for you when you're ready to do the internal work to support them. Again, going back to the first card, being brave and honest, supporting yourself, being truthful in yourself. People may not like your truth, but they have to respect it and shift your perception because the way you're thinking is the way you're manifesting things in your life. Speaking about that manifestation, remember to get, again, tomorrow is the webinar. Remember who the fuck you are webinar tomorrow january 30th 2021 12 p.m eastern standard time go to almightypineapple.com go to webinar and select your ticket again we're at 90 percent capacity thank you again for everybody who's fucking with me for liking commenting subscribing to my channel thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel is going to resonate with this channel the almighty pineapple llc is trademark copyright and register with the united states government and several different classifications any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team again thank you for your support thank you for fucking with me thank you so much and i'll see y'all tomorrow for the webinar and if you'd like to work with me you can go to the almighty pineapple.com go to services and see what calls out to you if you don't want a service maybe you want a product go check out my online botanica that me and my family creates products and we're distributors for a couple of products you'll see them there and see what resonates with you if it calls out to you that's what you need to follow if not that's okay too and if you'd like to work with me i am scheduling now into late february into early march please follow your intuition we're working with any spiritual advisor even if that means you do not work with me your intuition will guide you to who what when where and how to work with those spiritual advisors and practitioners thank you so much and i'll see y'all later